guys before. I had a I had a cat for a week. No, the cat that lasted a week in my care. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's not what happened. That's not what happened. Well, I'll tell you guys the story. I'll tell you guys the story of the of the cat I had for a week. So I found a stray cat. It was a black stray kitten. I was walking in my neighborhood, and it had this little wound on the back of its leg, and it was super 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 sweet. I never found a stray cat that was so friendly. So I was thinking to myself, um, maybe I should try to capture this stray cat and take it to the vet. Uh, or I wanted to see if it was possibly a cat somebody owned because it was so, 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 so social. Yeah, I could fix her. I could fix her, exactly. <laughs> so I think... After seeing it, I went out and I lured it with food. It was so friendly. I didn't even have to set up a trap. It, I could just pick it up. It was that friendly. So I lured it to my house. And then I picked her up and I, I put her into my house. Then she started freaking out a little bit. <laughs> I don't blame her, but it only took a few hours for her to come out from under a chair. Uh, the biggest issue was there was another animal in my house. I could not have that animal near... They couldn't be near each other. That'd be very, very, very dangerous. So that other animal had to wait in a room while I got the cat. Eventually the cat came out and I moved the cat to my room. And I got all this stuff for her. I got a litter box and I got food. She was super skinny and everything. And then that... Oh, she was so sweet. That night she slept right next to my face. Because it was too late for me to take her to the vet. So that night she slept... Right next to my face, she was so cute and she just purred and she just wanted to cuddle. Oh my gosh, she was so precious. But yeah, so she slept really well. Then around 5 a.m. she started playing with my toes. That really hurt. Uh, this was the first... I'd never had a cat before. So this was my first experience having, or, you know, having a cat or being near a... I guess being in close quarters to a cat like that. So the next day, I ended up taking her, I think, to a shelter. To check if she had... I wanted to check if she had a microchip. Or if, you know, there was any lost cat reports. So I took her. She didn't have a microchip. She didn't have a collar. She didn't have a, anything. They told me that if I gave her to the shelter, they'd probably fix up her injury. But then they'd release her back into the street. So I took her home. And I took her to my vet. So she got, you know, all the treatment and stuff for her... Like, I knew I couldn't keep her because of the animal I already had, so I had to find somebody else to take her. So I had her for about a week. She stayed in my room. She was so sweet. Or if I went to a different room, I would take her with me, and she just wanted to cuddle up to me. Oh, she was so, so cute. And eventually I found somebody to adopt her, and that person had another black cat. She, she got along really well with the other cat. They sent me photos. Oh, they were so cute. And she was doing super, super well. She grew up to be so pretty. So that's how. That's why I only had her for a week. 